Well, the three main party leaders were on the road again and spent the day canvassing in Leinster and the North West. It was back to school for the former teacher turned politician Enda Kenny in Westport, County Mayo this morning. This general election is more about you than about, than about me. While making sure his nomination as candidate for the Doyle election was taken care of in Castle Bar, his constituency colleagues were feeling confident. The people are crying out for change and I have no doubt that they are going to respond on the 25th of February. Fine Gael and Indy Kinney and I honestly believe that we are going to have an overall majority. Then it was back on the road, where in Manor Hamilton, near the border, roads were the topic. We do not have the infrastructure um, uh, to actually support development. People have decided in their minds to change. We want them to change and we want them to believe and understand the five-point plan that Fine Gael have put forward to get Ireland working. That plan and those proposals, all part of the continuing nationwide tour of almost every constituency by Mr Kenny. Ray Kennedy, RT News, Sligo. Nominations for the general election closed today with more than 560 candidates going forward. There's a record number of independents and smaller party candidates. However, Fianna Fáil numbers are down more than a quarter compared to 2007. Today, the main parties focused on job creation, education and emigration. A range of issues for the parties on the campaign trail today. Fine Gael launching its plan to cut back on the numbers taking the emigrant plane. We've got to, you know, we've, we've got to push the, we've got to stop the boat going off with our kids in it basically. But we've, we've got to make sure that every possible thing we can do to keep them here is done by this government. Imagine a thousand homes this week where the mother and father are saying goodbye to their child. I mean, that is just unacceptable. Fine Gael is proposing thousands of internships, second chance education places and work placements for apprentices. Meanwhile, there'll be up to 550 runners and riders in the race for the 31st Doyle. Fine Gael had 104, up 13. David McCullough, who joins us now in the studio. These uh, nominations for the election, David, two things we know now. Fianna Fáil is not going to have an overall majority on the, the basis of the numbers they've uh, put forward. And Fine Gael think they just might? Well, just might is an outside chance, I suppose it is. Uh, a little bit unlike the, where the opinion polls are at the moment, but it's certainly not impossible. They need to be have the poll rating cre creeping up, but they are fielding 104 candidates, which is up from, uh, from 91 in 2007. They are the only party with enough candidates in the field to actually form a single party government. Fianna Fáil are admitting that, uh, you know, what the opinion polls say has come home to roost and we've seen Micheál Martin since he took over as party leader trying to uh, reduce the number of candidates in particular constituencies. They're only running 75. If, even if they all got elected, they'd still be way off a, uh, a, a, an overall majority. Now, we're trying to pin down exactly how long it's been since Fine Gael have run more candidates than Fianna Fáil in a general election, but I certainly think you'd be going back to the 1920s. So it is a big change there. The other side of it, huge number of independents running, uh, minor parties running, it may well be a record, and the overall total, 564 candidates in total. Some of them may withdraw before the uh, deadline tomorrow. That's compared to 470 last time. All right. Uh, this fellow that barracked uh, into Kenny last night at that meeting mm. in Carrick on Shannon, now, uh, he wasn't Vincent Brown's brother, no. or otherwise related no. to him, uh, and it turns out that this there's more to this than met the uh, yeah, eye. Yeah, it's it's, it was a practical joke. Uh, now, it's a practical joke that went on for nearly 10 minutes with, uh, with him shouting at, at uh, Enda Kenny. Uh, it, it turns out he's, uh, he's, uh, he's a practical joker and th this was uh, uh, you know, th his, uh, his idea of a joke. Now, the, I suppose the funny thing is that the media all fell for it and it's report it was reported this morning, it's in the papers, on, uh, we, we discussed it on, on, uh, on the radio and everything. But, uh, you know, you would think a practical joke is funnier if it's sort of that little bit unbelievable, yeah, whereas yeah. in this case, a, an angry punter was absolutely believable. All right, David, there we leave it. Thanks very much for that.